February 4th, 2010. Quick demo of Xbox Media Center on the Apple TV. This Apple TV is actually sold now on eBay and it has the Crystal HD decoder card on board. Just powered it up. Take a second to get to the main menu. There's the Apple TV main menu. Once Launcher has been installed, Xbox Media Center is available from this menu entry. A little hard to see. And there's the new skin, default skin for newest version of Xbox Media Center. And there in the playback menu under the video settings, the render method is Broadcom Crystal HD. If I go to TV shows, Dexter, Season 4, 720p, MKV, I'll spool up my NAS drive and there we go. Previously on Dexter. It's for sure. I'm pregnant. What kind of father would I be? After all, I kill people. That's it. Back to the main menu. Everything's there. And exit. You have all the features of the Apple TV. Nothing's lost. Everything gained with Xbox Media Center. Also, when you're inside the launcher menu, there are a couple of settings that you might want to know about. Universal mode is for a another remote that you can use inside Xbox Media Center um, and then you also want to keep that set to no that prevents Apple from updating the operating system um, which would erase all your settings so I just leave that at no there's at least at this time no reason to upgrade the actual OS on the Apple TV it's the most recent 3.0.1 and then if you go to the downloads menu that's where you can update to 
to the latest nightly revision of Xbox Media Center. And that's important because the development of the Crystal HD is ongoing. So if there's ever issues or whatever, you can just go there, click that link, and it'll automatically go out, download the most recent nightly version of from the SVN, and uh, install it for you.